this video, I'm going to explain the basic of power factor in the electrical system. There are three main components in the electrical system, which is the resistor, the capacitor, and the inductor. Now, let's have a look at this resistor. This one has one power factor. The power factor means some people think it as the percentage of the true power in the electrical system which means that 100% of the power supply by this power supply is true power. And if you do the calculation, um, P equal to VI, so 5.1 volt times by 1 amp, which is equal to the true power, 5.2 watt, because the power factor is 1, is 100% true power. Now, if, if I connect this one with the inductor, you can see that the power factor now is only 0.59 and the true power of 0.8 watt is because of the internal resistance of this inductor. This one has 6 ohm internal resistance but if you do the calculation you will see a different answer. It will not equal to this true power because now only let's say 60% of the power supply by this power supply is the true power and 40% is the reactive power. Now let's see the calculation. It's 8.4 times by 0 0.757 times by, let's say 60%. can see that the answer is 3.8, which is the 3.8 watt of true power. So with this 29 millihenry inductor, you can see the power factor is about 0.6. If I change to 92 millihenry inductor, the, now the power factor went down slightly to about 0.54. And if I change to a much higher inductance, which is the 680 millihenry, you can see that the power factor is now only about 0.3. Let's have a look at the capacitor. With this AT microfarad capacitor, you can see that the power factor is zero and the true power is zero, but it's drawing some current. This is because now the power supply is not supplying any true power, but only supplying reactive power. Now let's have a look at this induction motor. When this induction motor is, is unloaded, you can see that it's still drawing some current. At the moment it's drawing about 0.6 amp of current, but the true power is zero and the power factor is, is zero. So basically this induction motor is drawing purely reactive power and it is important for the induction motor because it needs reactive power to operate. Now if I try to load the motor, You can see the power factor now increase from 0 to about 0.2 and the true power now is about 6 watt. And if I let it go, it should go back to 0. If you found this video useful, please like it and if you know someone that can benefit from it, please share it. And please subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates of our videos. Thank you for watching.